While I'm waiting for suspension parts, I'm going to look at the dashboard. This is my old dashboard. And I've, I've got the door, but that's in, in shreds as well. So that's really pretty much past it. I could replace these bits here and re near them. But this is a, a left-hand drive dash. And I managed to pick this up, <coughs> which is a right-hand dash, which is not bad. It's been been varnished up before. There's there's dribbles in the dribbles in the varnish here. Little bits of veneer missing here. Got an extra hole or two here. But this convinced me to convert to right-hand drive. And this will be perfect because I don't want my car to look like a brand new car, not that it ever could. I want it to look like a, a 60 year old car that's been used and reasonably looked after. So I'll try and strip that and refinish it. And if I can get a decent finish on it, I'll be happy with that. Well, I've blocked it with 180 grit and it shows up quite a lot of hollows here so I've gone over this side by hand and I just want to get back to a uniform matte finish this is 180 grit here um, I've decided not to try and strip the old finish off completely because I reckon this veneer is quite thin in places where it's been stripped before so I think that'd be too dangerous so if I can get it back to this sort of finish, I think it'd be a good starting point. Right, time to try and see what it's going to look like. I've gone over it again with 400 grit and the the extra finish on the top, it, it came off all right. You could actually see when that was rubbed off and you were down to what I think is the original finish. And then in places, I think we're down to the original wood. So we got the um, veneer here and a varnish finish here. But I'm reluctant to go any more. So I'm just going to put some thinners on that just to see what that might look like. That, that's quite nice. That's, I think that's quite acceptable. That. That looks really nice. So I think I'm going to try some Danish oil. Just give it a wipe with that and see what it looks like. Here's my Danish oil. Um, got a bit gloopy, so I just thinned it with some white spirits. I think the secret with this stuff is to put to put none on. Whatever you put on, rub it off again. And do it lots of times. But again, this is only my my view. So, give that a few hours and put some more on. Try and get this onto the dining room table now though, where it's a bit warmer. This 
So I was getting on the other side. Um, as soon as you start to rub it, this this top finish is coming off. So luckily they didn't prepare the surface very well when they slapped one on. So it should be fairly easy to get off. Top of the dashboard now. These are the cigarette uh, cigarette trays, and there's no veneer on here at all. All gone gnarly and missing and. So I've blocked that flat and I've salvaged these bits of veneer off my old dashboard and I wonder if I can reuse those onto here. I mean I don't think you get a better match that might might even come off the same tree. Uh, it'd be interesting to clamp it on though because the underneath of that is tapered. So these, these edges aren't parallel. But I'll finish sanding it and then I'll try and glue those on. This is my original drawer. It goes in the centre of the dashboard. And this is really crusty. And I haven't got the drawer for the other one, so let's see if I can clean that one up. That says a little bit's glued on, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, what happens and the drawer front is okay a little bit gnarly but I like it so it's the next morning now and this bit's always exciting well, for me it is. Well, it's stayed in the right place anyway, that's good. I'll try and carefully trim that back. Well, I'm super pleased with how this is coming on. This is obviously the old one, which I'm not using. So it's, it's all completely fried, that veneer. This is the old front steering column. And I guess that's for an overdrive switch, which never was on my car which corresponds to that hole there. And there's that square cutout on the back of that hole there. So it's had about four coats of Danish oil and I reckon I'm gonna put about 20 on there and some furniture polish. And that center dash is pretty perfect for me and we've got this door which again pretty perfect little chip on the corner there but I can put a bit of wax in there just to disguise that this is the middle drawer and this is off the my original dash so that was pretty pretty bad but the grains opened up there but that's got some character to it. And then these are my repairs to the top. And that side's that side's good. A bit more trouble with this side. The piece on the right there that was very fragile, that veneer, and it's not, not really survived. I don't mind that bit, I can put some wax in there, but I'm going to do a repair to the repair and a little cut across there, just splice a new piece in. That's that little repair done, just glued in, little overhang here which I'll sand off when that's dry, 
and also on the centre dash, wherever it is, here. Quite a lot of delamination on the um, on the plywood. So I've blown some glue into there, clamped it in. But this is a UK car, so it's not seen a lot of sun, which I reckon is what's caused that. But uh, that's stable again now. Here's my old glove box, which of course is left hand drive. So I'm making another one, which is right hand drive. So I've just got to try and bend it the right way now. And that's it, pretty much finished. I've just filled these holes with some wax and a wax crayon and a soldering iron. Works fine there. And I repaired that little corner. And I've got my new glove box to go in. So I shall, I shall cover that in felt, and cover that in felt, and then with some body adhesive, I'll glue that into there. Sorted.